Hi, you've reached Tamara Shaw and um, Osteotam Holistic Services. I am the author of uh, Natural Remedies for Dog Anxieties. And um, today we're going to be talking about how, this is really super quick, we're going to talk about how um, how your pet, not only dog, it could be cat, dog, horse, um, um, how, how to know if your dog is feeling pain. And there are some things that are uh, telltale signs, okay? So one is excessive licking or chewing, um, chewing its side um, or paws, um, um, growling, snapping, and even biting if touched. That goes for cats too. Um, other other um, animals with physical physical pain will hide or stop eating. Um, they can have digestive upsets. When you are in pain, you can have digestive upsets. Um, you might the animals might pant. Uh, animals that are recovering from surgery that's obvious they're in pain. Um, but other other types of physical pain could be like head bobbing when placing a foot down, uh, when walking, trotting, trotting or cantering. Um, uh, so on the rule of thumb, if it's a horse or cat or, um, or dog, uh, the head will bob with the foot that feels bad or the, the leg that has the injury. Um, uh, turning always to the left or to the right. Uh, and some animals uh, favor one side over another, uh, but when it's always the same, that could be that they're compensating for, for pain. Uh, not jumping up or off the couch or not doing an activity that they're, they're usually um, excited about doing. Um, body trembles, uh, unless it coincides with the breeds, you know, like, a, like a chihuahua might tremble because they're scared, okay? Um, uh, not moving, if your animal refuses to move. That's just a telltale sign. Um, and lastly, if refusing to do things that would normally, it would love to do. If your horse loves to jump and it's refusing to jump, it needs to have um, a session. Uh, if your, your um if your horse doesn't want to go to the left and only wants to go to the right, that means it might have a problem with its back hip um, or back hock. Um, an animal that refuses to jump might have a problem with the middle or the, the hind quarters or feet. Um, uh, but when you when when a, an animal jumps, it uses all of its body. Maybe it's more afraid of the landing. So um, so it's important to to um, to have a session. Um, this, so there's some other things to consider too. Um, and if your animal is feeling anxiety, uh, the, the anxiety that they feel, feel might also be because of uh, different things like fear of loud noises or storms, fear of the unknown, fear to be left alone, fear of being touched, fear of people or the opposite sex, fear of traveling. And there's so many more. And we're going to continue to cover all of this um, in these uh, little short series um, with a natural remedies for animals, animal anxiety series. Um, so if you would like um, a session, please contact me on my, my website. I also do video consultations and I travel to you. So um, let me know what, what you, if, if that's something you would like to do by contacting me in that regard. Please subscribe and please like my videos. Um, I'm doing the best I can to help as many animals as possible. Um, thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Ending. <laughs>